Corey Taylor from Corey Taylor Talks, and I'm here with Celebrity Candy at the Oscars. I'm Corey Taylor and I'm here with Alyssa Violet. So hi Alyssa, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm very good, thank you. So I have two quick questions for you. The first one, keeping with the Oscars theme, if there was a movie based off of your life, what would the title be and why? Oh gosh, let's see. I couldn't think I know, it's kind of hard. Um, crazy girl living out her dream? I don't even know. No. <laughs> um, I don't know, I guess like, because I just moved out here and like I'm doing so much of like the things I've always wanted to do and I'm pretty crazy. Um, the title would be yeah. Riel's Fun Story. Oh, I like it. <laughs> What's your own name, right? Yeah, exactly. Oh, now you're really putting me on the spot here. <laughs> like, I gotta sit and think about that one. Uh, Laughing. Laughing. Yeah. I like it. She's fabulous. No, I, no. I, that's cool. No, I, I like it. Wow. Let's see. Oh my gosh. That's I know. So, it's kind of tough. Really I know. Um, 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 I'm going to call it Driven Peaches because oh. I'm from Atlanta. So I'm um, a Georgia peach. Gotcha. And you know, you kind of have to be driven to stay in the game. It's true. And look how far you came because you're Thank driven. You. <laughs> Uh, Spartacus, oh. <laughs> uh, because it was uh, the the oppressed actor fighting his way to fame and fortune in Hollywood. I gotcha. I like that. Thanks. It will be called finally. Oh, I like that. And why would that be? Called be? Finally, because it's been a long journey. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I can answer that really easily because I just launched my memoir called Cooking As Fast As I Can. Oh. So that would be the title. <laughs> I would have Sandra Bullock playing my lead like and probably producing it and, and directing yeah. it. <laughs> I don't think I'm allowed to say that in mixed company. Uh, life's too short. Oh, I like that. That's cute. Oh my gosh. That's a really, that's it's a a tough really, one. I really know. tough one. Um, I mean, I just turned 27. I feel like life at this point, I hope, is just beginning. You know what I mean? So it's it's tough to say. It's really tough to say. I don't. I don't. I, I still feel like I haven't done enough yet to be able to have a full movie based on that. I got life. you. I feel like mine would just be some. I can't think of anything clever. I'm gonna leave and I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> but it would just be my 20s. My life be like because I feel like I have such a. <laughs> random, interesting, boring life that I think people would want to see it. Oh, yeah. well, I'm Bishop to King. Oh, Bishop to King. Bishop to King. I like it. Why is yeah. that? Uh, one of the most influential people in my life was my uncle, who is the Bishop of California. Oh. My name, Ray, means King. He really helped move me on through life, awesome. uh, opened some doors for me mentally, and I think that that would be a great title. Bishop to King. Life is a chess match. 17 and in Los Angeles because I moved to Los Angeles when I was 17 and uh, basically everything has happened like because of that so I'm climbing the mountain yes climbing the mountain and what was the other part of the question why why would it be called climbing the mountain well I think life you know especially for an actor um, there's a lot of climbing there's a lot of mountain oh, yeah. so uh, that's how I do it. I like it called uh, lefties for life because I'm left handed oh I like it I'm right handed so I can't join in but reformed brazen hussy Oh. <laughs> I like it. Well, my, my second book was called Spotting the Kooks, um, and it starts off with, you should know right up front that I'm a reformed brazen hussy, which makes me infinitely qualified to write this book. Like Crazy life. I like it. Yeah. Easy, simple, I like it, and true. <laughs> thief. Thief. Ooh. <laughs> Love thief. Oh, there we go. I like that. Half mess. Oh. <laughs> I like it. But I'll have a happy ending, a good happy ending. I have no idea. One big crazy mess. I don't know. <laughs> Strange misfortunes. Ooh, I like it. <laughs> and uh, because, you know, sometimes there's a lot of misfortunate events that happen in life. And it's true. But it's just the beginning. Oh, I like it. Because every day is just the beginning. It's true. 
if I had a movie uh, based on my life, uh, how about... Uh, I know, it's kind of hard. <laughs> it would be a long title and it would be uh, the guy sh shot for the moon instead of the gutter. Crazy, sexy African. <laughs> I don't know. I know that's a good. That's a good question. I know it's kind of tough. The, the, the craziness of Carly Perez, I guess. Right? I like it. Why not? I like. It. What would the title be? Uh, oh my God. The immigrant. The immigrant. Based on my life, I would call it hustler. It's a, it's a great name and the thing is it just described my life you know exactly. I've been working hard for the last five years I started working in the Hollywood industry for like about four and a half so but it's been a beautiful journey and I like to help people I like to make you know things happen in town oh, yeah. I feel like um, I keep thinking of Pee Wee's Big Adventure so I'm gonna be like Rachel's Big Adventure because like yeah because my life has been really fun and interesting and weird and hard and interesting and great all at the same time um, it would be called the Ring Ding Kid because when I was 15 years old, I wrote and directed a commercial for called. Um, it was for a company called Drake's Ring Dings. They're like hostess. They make twin. You know Drake's Ring Dings, and it's online. You can look up Alan Wankus oh, yeah, Ring Ding funny commercial. Bones. Let me tell you about Funny Bones. Like, um, we're obsessed with them. So. so I was kind of a little mini celebrity in high school because I had made that little Ring Ding commercial, which again, it's on YouTube. Boy, can I not act, but it was a national spot. I'm sure it wasn't that bad. It was my first start in the film business. Yeah. And uh, it'd probably be called crazy. <laughs> just uh, everything in my life is just, is just crazy. It's, you never know what, what's going to happen tomorrow. I always... Oh, my God. That's too, that's, that's, that's too deep right now. Um, it would have to be a movie that shows from rags to riches or something like yeah. that. You know what I mean? Just a movie that shows good hard work and hustle. You'll, you know, you'll make it in life. You know? It'd be called Saturday's Warrior. Oh, okay. Um, because that is a movie that I just filmed and it's coming out oh. in a few weeks. So. I like it. Self promo. A queer teen grew up. I don't know. I'm not good at movie titles. It would probably be something like, oh no. I was going to say Miss Thing. I like it. <laughs> That's cute. I like it. Started from the bottom, now I'm here. I like it. <laughs> Trash. I like it. Uh, what's next? That would be the title. Because oh, like my life has just gone all over the place in so many different directions from, you know, um, having my career to being a wife to having kids. It's just kind of every day is up in the air with me. And I, that's what I love about it. It keeps it exciting. I think it would just be something simple like the life of Marcus Scribner. Make it sound all grand and cool. Yeah, I think that's what it would probably be. Uh, God knows, comma, he tried. I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. That's cute. Oh my god. I feel like make the making of Madison because oh, there's been so cute. many yeah. like my fans have seen me go through so much yeah. so it's kind of just like my whole like the making of me. <laughs> it all works out. Um, just came to my mind. Alive. That's a good one. <laughs> a journey. A journey. Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> You've been on quite a one so good one. Oh, well, I'm just going to go for my favorite movie, Sunset Boulevard. Oh, okay. And I, I know, it's it's dark. That's a dark, a dark... But you can make it more happy. But I, but I was born just underneath Sunset. Oh. And I grew up just above Sunset. Oh. So I think it's pretty defined. There you go, yeah. yeah. No, I like that, and it's a pretty title. A popular movie that could be based on my life, Gone with the Wind. Ah, I like it. Yeah, and I'd be Rhett Butler. Yes. Uh, boy, is this schmuck lucky. <laughs> Teenage dream, because I'm living oh. my dream when I'm a teenager. <laughs> I like it. That's perfect. Oh, I have no idea. It's a hard one. I know. It is kind of difficult. I guess just my name. I just have my name. Uh, unemployed. Oh. <laughs> I like, but you make money in different ways, so that you're not that bad. It's kind of it's kind of like being unemployed, though. I think that's so Liza, because that's so Raven. I, she was such an inspiration to me as a kid, and like this... I think I can do it pretty well, so it would definitely be that so lies. It would be a whole story about my life and how about I'm not psychic, but I can do this really well. Wow. I would just say blessed. Oh, okay. I, I, I feel uh, truly blessed, you know, so. Awesome. I love that. That's awesome.
Oh man, the, the story of my life. Jackson Rathbone. A, uh, I, I I don't even want to. I don't I don't want to do that. No. Uh, you'll have a writer and do it, right? Yeah, I'll let someone else do that because I I don't think I would let anyone make a movie of my life yet. Okay. Wait till I'm dead. That's what it's called. Oh, don't even say that. All right. Well, you'll live forever, right? So. <laughs>